cosmic family, Alpine Ascension. And I want to talk to you about being in this world but not of it. As starseeds, as light workers, as those who have come here in this time of transition to anchor in this high frequency energy into the earth at this time, we came here to be system busters. We came here to infiltrate the system, the system of control and manipulation, the system of fear, this matrix, this three dimensional reality. We came here as seeds, we were planted so we could grow within the system and spread light throughout the system, spread love and be an example in the world. And that's why we have to be in this world but not of it. And when we're in the system, there's all these distractions that are bombarding us from every turn. Television to to the election, to everything that's going on in this crazy freaking 3D world. But that's why we have to have a spiritual practice. We have to go within. And as we go within, as we go within the depths of our soul, we discover new truths to ourselves, and we can bring that out into the world. You know, you hear about these monks in Tibet who just meditate and achieve their rainbow bodies, achieve their light bodies. And you know, that's not why we're that's not what we're here for. That might be their 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 plan for their soul for for the, this lifetime. But for us, we cannot achieve that because we have to be in the system, we have to be in the shit every day, you know. To achieve a rainbow body, you have to have, for 13 years, you have to have only loving thoughts. You have to sit in meditation for years and years and years to achieve enlightenment in this one lifetime. But us ET souls, us light workers and star seeds who are incarnating on incarnating on the earth at this time we've already ascended we've already ascended many times and many of us are coming back from source to anchor in this new energy into this earth and we are system busters we came here as volunteers because there was a call placed for us to come to the earth because the earth was in trouble because the earth was going through the shift and we needed to wake up as many people as we could. We needed to, we couldn't do that from being an energy body. We couldn't influence the, the earth in that way. We had to incarnate into these bodies and forget who we are. Forget that we are infinite spiritual beings. Forget that we are embodiments of light. We have to forget, we have to go through this veil of illusion to come here. And then we get indoctrinated into this system. We are told what we are. We are told what, what to do, you know. We're, we're set upon this earth. We're, we're, we come here into the darkness. And, and then we're triggered. We, upon, upon, this, um, upon us coming to the earth, we set up these circumstances to trigger us to awaken at the perfect time, at the right time to influence all of those around us. All of those around us who are in our life and entering our life will see how much we've changed, how much we've grown, and then, and then they will pay attention to how we've done it. And then as we as we progress in our life and start manifesting things, they're going to they're gonna see how much we've changed and we're going to spark an interest in that. All of those people around us and then people like us, who are, who, people who are like me who are reaching out to others through social media, through 
through music, through whatever it is. We have to be part of the system. When I first moved to Colorado, you know, I it was hard for me to find a job. I was broke. And now that now that I have a good job and I'm using the system to my advantage. I'm manifesting things. I'm manifesting what I want. I manifested my dream car. I manifest, I'm manifesting all these things that I want. Music equipment, new clothes, all of these things. And, you know, I've, I, uh, and you, we have to embrace our physicality. We have to embrace these you know, material gains, but we have to keep it in balance because, you know, so many people go out of balance by just focusing on the material shit. It's all about balance. The Buddha called it the middle path. We have to find that middle point, you know. I went for years just focusing on spirituality, focusing on um, connecting with higher dimensions, you know, connecting with higher planes and meditating and doing all these things, working with my crystals, but I couldn't ground it because I didn't have, I didn't have the material gains, I didn't have the money, and all of that, now that, now that I have that balance, and I, I don't need to worry about if I'm going to have enough food for the week, I don't need to worry how I'm going to pay my bills because I have a good job. And I know that within the next couple of years, I'm going to be doing what I love. But what I'm doing now, you know, I have to work. And it's so important that we find that balance, that middle path to manifest our desires, to manifest what we want and focus on it and not get caught up in these fucking distractions. We're here to transcend that. We're here to break the system. We're here to infiltrate the system from the inside and spread our love, spread our light, bring that light in from source and ground it into the earth. And we're about to go through many earth changes. We're going to go through, we're going to see a lot of shit in the next decade, in the next 10 or 20 years. We're going to go through a lot of shit, and that's why we're here. We're here to prepare the people, help to awaken as many people as we can and get this information out there, however it is that, that you do that. We all have gifts. Each of us has a divine gift that we're here to share. And so many people out there, you know, just not believing in themselves, you know, I went through that. And I still have my doubts, but... It's time for us to step into our power, embrace our gift, know what your gift is. Find that gift so you can share it with the, with the world. So you can share it and get this information and the consciousness to people. Be the light, be the change you wish to see in the world. Because you're not going to see it otherwise, you have to... You have to live that change. You have to embrace this lifestyle of having, having, um, having discipline over your body, having discipline over your mind, and bringing your spirit, body, mind into balance and manifesting abundance into your life, into this world. And show others that we can all do that. That we are all powerful creators. And as these waves of Christ consciousness are coming to the earth. Are we're becoming more telepathic with one another. The veils are being lifted. You know. And if you're still caught up in the duality. If you're still caught up in the politics. All of that. You know. If Joe Biden wins or Trump wins. It doesn't matter. Because this ascension is happening. And, you know, it might affect things, but it's out of our control. You know, you can go vote. And that's what I did. I voted. But in the long run, whoever wins is going to win. You know, there's just, 
we have to transcend this duality. There's so much duality, so much separation in the world, so much fear in the world, and all of this darkness is coming up to the surface, and we have to deal with this shit. But we have to find that balance point, we have to find that middle point. Find that stillness within yourself. Focus on your gifts, your desires. Focus on your, your mission, your purpose. And, you know, I've always thought of myself that I had this divine purpose. But what I'm learning is you create your purpose. We have free will. And that's why the world is the way it is today. That's why we see all this shit going on. We live in a free world, free will world. And because of that, we can choose what we want to create for our purpose. We can choose what we create into our world, our earth. And the way, the reason the world is the way it is right now because the majority of people are focusing on the ego and the darkness and the fear and the distractions. And the Earth's had enough. The Earth's transcending. The Earth is already in fourth dimension. And we're like fleas on a dog. We're just, we're just along for the ride. And the Earth is, hopefully she doesn't shake us off. But we're going, we're going to go through some Earth changes. And possibly a solar flash. And... We need to be ready for this. We need to start manifesting things into our life so we could benefit ourselves, we could benefit the collective consciousness, and we can we can do what we came here to do. We can we can inspire others to bring light and love into this world and it'll spread. Christ consciousness will spread like a wildfire. And from what I've been seeing, these these fires here in Colorado, it's it's been crazy, and that's that's how Christ consciousness is going to spread through the planet. It's not going to happen right away, but we're getting there. And each one of us needs to do our part. We need to we need to do the shadow work and go within. And then bring that out into the world. I love you guys. I'm going to be coming out with more videos. I had to take a break. I was getting burnt out with life. And I just went on vacation back to Wisconsin to see my family. And I'm feeling motivated and inspired. And I'm going to be coming out with more videos. So stay tuned. Peace, love. And